Good evening guys, welcome to another Southway 9043 production. Just give you a update on the model railway that I'm building in my loft. And as you can see from this side, not a lot's been done. as because all the work that's gone on has started from this point here. These, well, these two points here. These two tracks have been completely taken up and realigned because when trains got to point there and a point there um, this this track was clashing with that track so I obviously had to deal with that and as I said in me, one of my uh, last videos on an update on the railway I wasn't happy with the fiddle yards and as you can now see it has now been completely ripped up and we now have a fully functional depot at the moment all the track is laid and all the track is live with uh, DCC power as you can see I've got uh, two of the I think it's train tech buffer stop LED buffer lights what two there and I've got one there just got to get one for that one there and uh, at the moment another one for there where the OH shunter is now, as you can see, it is a two-road Backman maintenance depot with obviously two end road. You have the uh, Backman site office in the middle. And you've got, obviously, these two lines are obviously going up and onto the main line there. And at the moment, it is a normal... Um, crossover diamonds whatever people like to call it but i like them cross like say crossover from pico it will be eventually a double slip so trains from this outer track can come into this section as well as trains from the outer one at the moment obviously only the trains from the outer one could come in here um so that's something for the uh if, if future um been sorting out some lights as you can quietly see Got the first light working in a depot, and as you can probably see, if you've watched my videos before, it's the same depot from my uh, exhibition layout, Summerton TMD. Basically, just borrowed it off of that one. So it's, it's literally, um, if you've watched uh, Richard's videos on Everard Junction, and um, one of his videos shows you how he does his bus wires for his DCC, how he uses. Uh, blue clips that collect onto the wires and obviously little red tags that connect onto your wire and then they go into the blue strips it's basically what I've done there um, I can't really show you under here but as you can see there's the uh, blue clips and oops, I'll get the fingers out of the way and there's the red ones there for me DCC and that one there's purely for me DCC it goes completely around the outside and there's also one on the far side for my analog controller, which is down there, which at the moment is powering me lights. Um, got three dead end sidings, two long ones, which is at the moment got the uh, parcels uh, wagons on, and the other one's at the moment empty. And you've got this one here, which can hold, as you can see, one, two, three, four, five, can hold six coach is pretty well don't know if it will hold six mark threes but normal mark ones mark twos can get six in there or five cars and a loco in there quite happily um as you can see i've got me hornby network southeast 5002 superb and that's got the uh four mk2s and one mark one and four mark two NSC coaches on that one and as you can see me HST in the city livery as at long last got some coaches got four at the moment as you can see got two first class the buffet restaurant car whichever you like to call it and the TGS um, already placed um, a pre-order in with Hattons all I've got to do is pay for the uh, obviously the four standards that will go in between the TGS and the buffet car Work to be going on with at the moment that I can do is got two of these old fashioned lights, which is going to be one there 
and one there. I've got a normal bog standard LED there for the uh, workman's hut. And I've got four of these, I forget where I, I think I've got these from Layouts for You. I think they're about three, four pounds, I think, if I remember rightly. Don't quote me on it. Can't remember how much they, I paid for them, but I did buy two, and I've got given two. So I've got, obviously, four that will go in between the two big sidings. Now, as well as, obviously, ripping up that section there and realigning it, because, obviously, the clashing of the coaches on the lines... All this has been ripped up and redone. I've got as far as just before it goes around the bends. Now, the bends on this end, again, has got to be ripped up because I've got clashing right in that edge there, um, which I'm a bit unhappy about. But it gives me um, the chance to sort the station out. I'm happy with the station the way it is, but I'm not happy. As you can see, um, I did have two um dead end lines here i've ripped them up for the time being because i borrowed the uh, track for this side um help me out guys it looks a bit plain it looks a bit boring two lines you know two main lines one spur coming off of each one connected at each end it looks a bit boring any ideas guys let me know and i'll be pleased to uh take on board any comments or suggestions because uh, I'm a bit stuck but as you can see it's all looking rather better and uh, sorry for the shaky camera but I'm using me uh, Samsung phone and uh, gotta got get myself a decent camera hopefully uh, my birthday's in April hopefully uh, my dear wife is taking hint on a Samsung camera that I've look, been looking at in Curry's so hopefully you never know but that's the progress so far. I will do a couple of shots, video shots of uh, some uh, trains in action. Thanks very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Please comment and subscribe. Take care for now and bye bye.